Welcome back to Wisconsin family. The smell of coffee is in the air and it's perfect timing because I could use a cup. How about yeah, you? Yeah, in the air, in my nose, soon to be in my belly. Yes, looking forward to chatting with the folks here. We're at Black Locust Cafe near the Capitol on East Washington and we're going to have a great show for you. But right now we're going to talk about tackling a little bit of a tough topic today. We're talking about bankruptcy and joining us as our resident expert here. We've got Mike Diaz who is joining us, owner and attorney. Glad to see you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being here. So this is a tough topic because there's a lot to know and a lot to try and figure out when you're going through something. But let's first talk about the general what is bankruptcy and how does it work? Bankruptcy really is a section within the federal law um, and what it deals is try to provide a, a respite to individuals who have basically fallen hard times. Sure. This okay. is the time usually when I see a lot of those because people during the holidays, sometimes they overexpend, they max their credit cards, and then they check out their income and go, oh my God, I cannot pay my bills. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of those struggling that I see, obviously I call that to be the hangover process. <laughs> Post the the holiday hangover, holiday hangover that financial kind of. hangover. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay, well said. That's a good way of putting it. And I've often heard people say, "Yeah, I'm going to file for Chapter Seven or Chapter mm -hmm. Thirteen, or I've even heard Chapter Eleven. What is the difference between all of those different chapters? Yeah. Well, when you look at the at the code, they're dividing certain chapters. Most an individual debtor will file either under Chapter Seven or a Chapter Thirteen. A Chapter Seven basically is an individual that wants the court to eliminate their debts. We call mm -hmm. that the liquidation chapter. Mm -hmm. A Thirteen is basically in which you ask the court to appoint an individual, call a trustee. You know, both of cases have the trustee, but in this particular case, the trustee will look at your assets and will put you on a payment plan. Mm -hmm. Usually, lasts about five years, so it, it, it secures you, puts you on a kind of a, on a strict budget to okay. pay off all your debts. Now, is there a way, let's talk a little bit about your personal assets during this process. Now, are, do people lose their home and lose their car, or is there a way to keep those assets during this well, process? Well, usually individuals, when you file for bankruptcy, if those items are secured by a lien, like a mortgage or, the, or a title, basically the creditor owns the property. So when you file for bankruptcy, they can reclaim that property. However, there's a process by which individuals who have what's called a secure property or secure creditors, you can enter into an agreement, usually it's called in a reaffirmation agreement, by which you try to keep the, the, that item continuing to make the payments. However, I want to tell people, there is also a downside to it. If you fail to make the payments as agreed, guess what? They're going to they're gonna take over the property. Right. So it's very critical when you speak with somebody about your financial situation to ensure to make a wise decision as to whether or not you want to keep those items. Gotcha. So you got to make sure not to overpromise and underdeliver. Be realistic about what you can afford. And that is correct. Okay. Yeah. And now the the process of either filing for bankruptcy and you mentioned uh, paying off the debt. Sometimes mm. it's a five year plan. Mm -hmm. Is that a typical amount of time for how long it takes? What's the time frame for filing and, and completing? Well, for a chapter seven, which is basically the liquidation chapter, mm -hmm. from time to filing to discharge, final discharge, it can take between six and seven months. Oh, okay. Okay. For a thirteen, obviously because you are put in a payment plan, it takes longer. Sure. So the average is about probably five years, a little bit longer, depending upon the amount of debt we're looking right. at, at putting into the plan. Right. Okay, and let's talk about limitations when we're talking about specifically Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. What are the limitations there? Well, limits? for limitations, people need to understand that uh, there's a limitation as to number one, residency. How long have you lived in the county? Okay. Are you living in the county that uh, you're filing for? After all, if, if you live in Milwaukee, you'll be filing in the Eastern District of Wisconsin. If you're in Dane County, Columbia County, Sac County, you know, those will fall within the jurisdiction of the Western District will be Madison. Mm. I, a thing that they need to understand is once you file for bankruptcy, you're banned to file again for a period of eight years. There's an eight-year oh, wow. ban. Okay. okay. And for Chapter 13, is also there's, there's a ban, uh, I believe it's six years or less. Okay. Six years, I believe. I believe. That makes sense, though, because you, you want, you've sort of taken this mm. step that you need some help, and I can understand why there would be a limit to sure. how many times you can take Also, there are certain requirements. The law changed in 2005, which now, if you want to apply for a Chapter 7, oh. you need to enter into a credit course, or you know, a counseling course. Sure. So that is mandatory. If you don't do that, you cannot file. 
Interesting. Oh, I like your attorney, that, your attorney can explain that when right. you speak I to them. I think that's really smart because it's not just, here you go, let's get this done. There's education behind it. That is correct. Yeah, here's how to do smart. it. Is there another option besides filing for bankruptcy if like, people are thinking, man, I'm just buried in debt right now. Mm -hmm. I think Chapter 7 is my only option. Is there another well, option? There's, a, there's an option under Wisconsin law. Mm -hmm. um, it's called 128. The reason why is because it's a section of the statute is called Section 128. So everybody calls it a 128. Okay. Bottom line it is, instead of filing federal court, you file a state court. And this is called, an, uh, it's not a bankruptcy. It's an amortization of debt. Basically, you put a plan, you get assigned to an individual, and it, they put you in a payment plan. So that's another option. Individuals who may not be able to qualify for a Chapter 7 because they're banned or their income is too much may want to consider use this other option on the Wisconsin law. Wow, okay. Well, Lots you, of good information. Yeah, right? Mike, our expert here, you've done a great job of turning a tough topic yeah. into layman's terms for us. So and, and, again, and again, people, if um, the, the whole idea is to be educated before, right. it is very important that you do that. It's a very important part in any, in any people's life. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Mike, from Diaz Law Firm. We appreciate your time. Thanks thank for you. joining us. Thank you very much. We're going to be back with more Wisconsin family here at Black Locust Cafe, so please stay with us.